this is a how-to guide on how to install the correct driver for your multicam or your microscope multi product if you do not have the software CD that came with your uh, multicam or mi microscope product uh, please go to www.motic.com and download the software I will show you right now where to exactly go to get your software once you reach uh, www.motic.com click on Motic Optical then click on US and then click on the support tab and then after that click on downloads please click here, click here. for most cases uh, the software you would want is Motic Images Plus 2.0 ML for high school students uh, elementary schools that have microscopes such as the DS300 or the DM52 you will want Motic Play or Motic Educator but in most cases you would want Motic Images Plus 2.0 ML latest version not the legacy version that's down here click on that if you have not logged in or registered your product uh, please do so you will need the DM0 number that is on the bottom of your microscope or on the CD packaging enter it there and enter all the other fields once you have gotten a login, uh, you can proceed on to downloading the software, which I am going to do right now. Oops. And then let's log in. Latest version. Motor Images Plus 2.0, latest version. Once you get on the download web page here, there will be free links on the bottom. The one you want is the one in the middle, Motic Images Plus Software 8 bracket HK. Click on that. And then save it to your desktop if you can. Uh, as you can see, it's downloading right now. Uh, my version will have, it says it's the total size of it is 206 megabytes. Yours may be different. As long as the size matches up uh, with the end file that you downloaded, the end zip file, then you're probably fine. I'll cancel it here because I already have it on my desktop. Ta da! Okay, so once it comes down as a zip file, you will want to check size 205, which is co correct. One, kilo, one megabyte off. What you want to do is extract it, extract all, and that will create this file over here, plus two for PC. Open that, go inside. This number may be different, uh, it depends on your version, uh, but what's important is inside. And click on install setup for, to install the program. Once you've done that, then you can move on to installing the driver which is inside this folder but we don't do it from here what I need you to do is go to click start and then click on right click on my computer and then click on properties and then go to the hardware tab and then click on device manager once you reach here uh, Please plug in your Modicam or microscope USB cable to the computer. That's all I'm going to do so now. The hardware I'm using today is the DMB1-223 microscope. Uh, all our Modic products work the same way for installing driver. Once you've installed, uh, I mean, inserted the USB cable, a uh, hardware result may pop up. Uh, we will, I would like to you to cancel this. For mine, it shows up as a TV box inside imaging devices. Uh, this may not be the case for your Motic product. It normally shows up inside imaging devices, but there are other spots it can show up inside device managers, such as sound video and game controllers, universal serial bus controller, 
or other devices uh, it's not showing up here right now because it doesn't have any other devices but it may show up there those are the four spots that you would want to look in how to make sure you have identified the correct component that is your modi cam or microscope is just to unplug and replug in the usb cable if i unplug my usb cable right now you will see device manager refreshes itself and tv box is gone that way I know for sure I have identified my Motec product on my computer. Now, uh, to install the driver, right click on whatever your product name is, and then click on update driver. And then we'll pop up the same hardware update, but now we are sure we ha are installing to the correct device. Click on no, not this time, and then click next. Click on install from a list of specific location or dance, and then click next. And then pick don't search, I will choose the driver to install, and click next. Uh, in between the last screen and this screen there may have been a, a big list that Windows will try to ask you to pick from in my case it did not ask me because they already ident identify it as a imaging devices uh, for, in those cases uh, when it does pop up a big list just choose the imaging devices from that big list and then you will get to this screen once you have gotten to this screen uh, click on have disk and then click on browse then go to your desktop or wherever you saved your uh, plus 2.0 zip file or extracted version of that zip file. If you have the CD, go to your CD. And once you go inside, you will find the driver folder on your CD or your downloaded software. And once you go inside the driver folder, for this version, uh, the correct driver I need is the M230. This may not uh, apply to you. Uh, please check the link on this YouTube web page to see what exact driver you will need. Once I get in, there will be free folders. Uh, there's an x86 for 32-bit Windows uh, operating systems. This will apply to Windows 7, Windows Vista, or Windows XP. If you have a 64-bit, you will want to go into the 64-bit folder. But for our case, we will go into 86. Uh, whatever driver you do use, there normally is only one file you will be able to click on. In my case, this is TridFid. Uh, yours may have a different name. That's not the important part. The important part is that there's only one file inside the folder that you can click on. Now let's double click on the folder, I mean file, and click OK, and then click Next. Uh, yes, uh, Windows will come up warning you that this driver is not digitally signed. I can assure you there's nothing wrong with the software, so you can continue anyways. For uh, efficiency purposes, I'll pause this part of the install just to uh, speed up the video. Once it's done uh, installing the driver, it will pop up the screen. Uh, it may ask you to restart the computer. Sometimes it will not. Uh, depends on the computer. Uh, either case, if it asks you to restart, restart the computer. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Just click finish. And as you can see now, my microscope is identified as Motic M240. And there's no yellow caution sign or anything beside it. That's a clear sign that the driver was installed correctly. Now, let's open up uh, Motic Image Plus, the software you installed. Depending on the version of the software, your background interface may have a blue color to it. Uh, mine has a gray one. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. The important part is you're able to go to File and then Capture Window. On the blue interface versions, they may have a big capture button. Just press on that and you'll get to the same screen that I'm going to. Right now, as you can see, I have a black screen. Uh, that's nothing to worry about. Uh, how to know that your 
camera or microscope is connected to your software is under video devices it does show something in this box for me it would be Motic M23 for people with Modicams it will say Motic 2.0 MP or 3.0 MP as long as it says something you know your camera is connected to your software another thing to check out is your FPS if there is anything here besides 0.0 .0 your camera is most likely connected to your software now how to get an actual image, uh, all, all I need to do is turn on my camera component. For this specific type of camera, uh, there's a separate power button for the camera. Even though the microscope is powered up, um, my camera is not. I will need to press a red button on the base of the microscope. As you can see now, I get a fuzzy screen, but still a black screen. Uh, this is because there's no light going into the camera sensor. What I need to do is pull a beam splitter pin that's located to the right side of the microscope head or possibly to the back side of the microscope head. Uh, what I need to do is just pull it all the way out. And voila, light goes into the camera sensor. All I need to do is just focus it. As you can see, picture. Yeah, clear. Clear as that. Thank you. And that's how you install the correct driver.